My name is Anne Godfrey. I'm an Australian and I'm living in India. I've been living in India for about the past six years. Uh, during that period of time, uh, being in India, I became aware of the appalling situation of the women in India in these rural areas. And actually from that understanding of their conditions was born the concept of row circles. Now the row circles concept came into being as a vehicle to provide opportunities for many women, to give thousands of women a chance to change their lives, to change their lives on every level, that is physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, helping all women to be self-empowered, to have self-esteem, to gain spiritual upliftment through the choices they make. And choosing to help another woman in, in very difficult circumstances is a great opportunity for spiritual upliftment to any woman in the West. So we want to foster those opportunities. At that time, I met a wonderful woman in the next village who was leading uh, thousands of women, a movement for thousands of women towards self-empowerment. And I linked up with her and through her uh, association, uh, I managed to reach many women and was able to give quite a lot of work to these women and I saw the changes in their lives. Uh, many of these women were sick, many of these women had AIDS, many of these women were widows and they had been uh, struggling to eke out an existence to feed themselves and their children. Once I became aware of this, I decided, well, I would make a start. And the very first thing that came to my mind was to teach them to stitch because that's one of my skills and I knew I could market products in the West. Uh, when I uh, first started to teach these women, uh, say, quilt making, I also realised it was necessary for me to step back and not to just give them work but to allow them to find their own market for the quilts and now the women that I taught quilting to have formed a cooperative and they sell those quilts to the local um, hotels and hospitals and so forth. So this is really also important that we don't just give them the work, we enable them to form their own groups uh, and improve their lives. So it began in a very small way and after some time we came up with the concept of a rose being a symbol of love. And we felt that this symbol of love, a small rose brooch, which I'm wearing here, uh, could go all over the world and there could be a market for these rose brooches. That was the original leaping off point. And now we've taken that much further to include many more products. And from that beginning, many years ago, it has now developed into a full-blown project uh, where we give the women in the West an opportunity to purchase some of the produce that these women are producing and also to give them a sense of being able to help another woman in a country a long way away. Uh, and I also think this project has a chance of spreading to other third world countries as well, including Africa. So what we've done now is myself and six other women have formed a founding circle and from that circle we are hoping to inspire women all over India first of all uh, and in other parts of the world to also form healing circles. Now these healing circles just mean women getting together in a circle and sending love, light and healing to uh, other parts of the world, to situations which need healing, to family members who are having problems with their health to anything. So to consciously send light. So first of all, it's economic help. Secondly, it's the spiritual help where these women can feel they can also make a difference to the rest of the world. They can make a difference by sending uh, light and sending love into situations which are full of darkness. So it's a multifaceted thing. Also, Basically, I'm teaching Agnihotra in this country, which is based in Vedic science. And Agnihotra has the power to transform situations without love, situations where uh, the land is polluted, the air is polluted, the soil is polluted, the water is polluted, and totally turn that around, transform it into the possibility for abundance again in that area. So that is the main work here in India. 
we are using uh, the vehicle of Agnihotra or, or the Vedic science called homotherapy to transform the polluted conditions of nature that we've all contributed to into a situation of abundance. Now this is possible for anyone in any walk of life to do. Anywhere you are, you can do Agnihotra. You can help the earth to heal. You can help to heal the damage that human beings have collectively inflicted on the nature. And it's just such a powerful opportunity to really serve. And uh, right now, the planet needs this uh, help more than anything to transform the darkness into light. So by galvanizing also the feminine energy around the world into actively uh, working to help the women here by giving work to thousands of women here in, who have no other hope uh, and by practicing also the ancient Vedic science we can make a huge difference to the whole planet and that's basically in, in a nutshell the concept of rose circles and we hope that through these circles forming all over the world uh, circles where women buy from the women who make that the women do the uh, healing circles in their country to help to transform the planet where women can come together and learn to do these healing fires which are being practiced now in nearly every country. There's many aspects of this work and women can choose which one they take part in but we hope the final outcome is that these circles will grow and grow and grow and intersect and transform the whole planet through the divine feminine energy.